do. Okay, you see all these areas you see in Abuja, Asokoro, Use, Transco, uh, Hilton, uh, and the rest. We can actually acquire their coordinates to use. Let's say, for example, uh, you have a job that requires you to have the coordinates of all the hotels in Abuja, uh, and then you are not in Abuja. You can actually acquire them without having to be in Abuja. It's more like remote sensing as well. So that's what we want to do now. Let's say we want to acquire hotels or tourist sites in Abuja or um, what do we call church, mocks, um, anything at all, any future police station, um, schools and all that. We can actually do that. So to do that now, basically, you will, we're already in Abuja, but then you search for what you want on this search box here. Let's say I want a tourist place in, in Abuja. So let's search this. If it did not work, we'll use another keyword. Now I'll click on search. So let's wait for results. So we have Millennium Park, City Park, Abuja National Mall, which are the tourist center, National Children's Zoo and Park. We have Jabi Lake. We have Thought Pyramid. This Mobushi Art and Craft. So these are already appearing, telling us that they are actually tourist center in Abuja, right? So how do we acquire the coordinate? So now this is uh, Thought Pyramid. So let me. When you double click on Google Earth, it zooms to the location. So I'm going to click more so that it will clear up the thing. So now, this is Thought Pyramid. Can you see it? Can you see the screen? So uh, you walk side by side Excel data. So you open your Microsoft Excel. Mine is having an issue, but then let me try. I think I was supposed to fix it, but I didn't. Let me just see if it will open. So you also open your Excel file so that you will copy them and put them there. Because they are what you use in your GIS. So it's open. Let's just hope it allows me to work. So now, can you see my screen now? Are you seeing my screen? Yes, Excel sheet. Good. All right. <coughs> it's just telling me something. Let me remove them. So now I'm just going to type name because you have to prepare it. name, state, uh, let's say LGA or council, area council, since we're in a way, but then let's use LGA. Because they are part of the 774 local government in Nigeria. So. And then location. I'm just trying for us to create. Yes, attribute table, yes. And then now the next thing we want to know with this story site is either they are accessible to public or there's any set of restriction. So we can see access. And then let's see what again, what attributes can we get from Tori side? Can you get me any attribute at all? No. Yes, I was thinking of that. Yes, true. Yes. Yes, a condition. So now for this kind of question now this accommodation when we get to ArcGIS but ArcGIS desktop don't do it. When we get to ArcGIS Pro, there's what we call domain. Now domain gives you access to setting a set of restriction and question. You no longer type. Instead of asking 
this accommodation you just type a set of okay they have accommodation they don't have is a yes or no or both you know so uh, the domain will enable you to just type in those things and then instead of typing you just pick the right answer more like uh, a drop down button we saw from that other listing so that's what domain does on ArcGIS Pro but I've not seen that feature on ArcGIS desktop so then whether they have a combination what again okay do they have a uh, amusement park what? okay let's run so now the answer whether yes or no yes or no yes or no so then the next will be our location now our longitude which is our x our latitude which is our y sorry our longitude which is our y and our latitude which is our x and sometimes also eastern and audience so i think this attribute is enough so let's go back and now on the third period we're on google it now on the third pyramid if i click once if i click like this on this name it's going to bring out the name of that uh, feature i want to select so we have third pyramid center so i will stop here i know that it's in abuja so i'll just stop at the center that's the name right so i'll take it back i'll take it to excel i'll control b So normally when it's coming, it will come in uh, in bold, so you just click and then you unbold it. So now next, you see that it is crossing to that state level. So I'll just come up here and double click. Once I double click, it's going to align. Instead of me dragging it myself, all I need is just double click to align with the length of the yes. So state now, I'll just put either FCT or Abuja, anyone. Now the local government will go back to see which of the area council we can see who we'll say here that means this place is in a uh, amac right yeah so we type we type amac we go back there again uh it's in federal capital territory we can decide location now we can decide to just copy either this 18 libreville christian i don't know we just copy this and put in location so control v and then we double click for it to align so now does it have is it accessible to public we don't know that this one now we i warrant you to either pay fiscal visit to answer some of these questions right so now what we need next now is to bring in our coordinates so i'll cancel this now you remember we used place mark before right yeah so now i'm going to use the place mark now to copy the coordinate so once i click on this place mark then i will drag it to where the location of this pyramid is so now it's there now you see that our la longitude and latitude is appearing so our longitude is seven degrees seven okay so now we have jabi park which is jabi park and jabi lake are within the same location so instead of saying jabi park we'll just pick jabi lake which is the most interesting or sorry the most popular or millennium park so you follow them one by one until you have been able to finish everything can you still see my screen okay so we are heading to millennium park now to pick its coordinate so I only repeat this too so that when you are practicing uh, Millennium Park has opened up. So it's loading. I don't know. My system is trying to disgrace my generation today.
so this is millennium pack so i'll click once on it and it will open up as we did before so you now select right click and copy so control v So you use this paste option to change it to the match destination formatting. It will automatically ah. no grid. It will turn to normal comment. So we can just check the form bold here. Even this one will work. Then once we put one F, it will bring F C T. So we check where is this millennial city. 3 Amazon. 3 Amazon is in Amax still, right? So we'll put Amax and then we we'll check which location it is in. Uh, we can just say it is 3 Amazon and leave it there. Or we can copy the street where it is. Let's say 3 Amazon. 